Hello everyone and welcome back to Stylish Niger YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your support and for your love. If you are new to the channel, you're welcome. If you have not subscribed already, please, I would appreciate for you to hit on the subscribe button. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to cut and how to draft and cut a bustier straight pencil gown. So this is like a beginner friendly tutorial. So I'm going to make it very detailed. So as a beginner, you will be able to draft a straight bustier cut gown. So if you find this video helpful, please like this video. And if you have not subscribed to my channel already, please, I would appreciate for you to hit on the subscribe button. And then if you want to register for my online classes, you can see my number scrolling through the screen. Just send me a message on WhatsApp and then I'll give you the details of the classes we have presently available. So this is what it looks like. So now, guys, let's just get started straight into the tutorial for today. We just need three basic measurements. So and the three basic measurements that we need is the bust measurement, the up, under bust measurement, the waist measurement. So these are like the three measurements we have. We need. So I have some lines here already on my pattern paper, which I'm going to explain to you. The first line we have here is our shoulder line. And then this is our bust point line. This is our under bust. And then this is our waist line. So I'm going to give you the dimensions of all of these lines. So you can see this is 10 inches. That's from shoulder to, to my bust point is 10. My under bust is 13. My waist is 18. So from this waist point, I'm going to add my hip measurement. So it's actually a bustier dress or a bustier car rather. So now let's start imputing all of our measurements. So we're going to be drafting a basic gown, which is a, a bustier basic gown. So the first measurement I'm going to be adding here is my shoulder measurement, which is 14. I'll add seven, divide it into three, seven, and then I'm going to add just one inch allowance. So from this point, I'm going to come down. So I want this, this tutorial to be very detailed, so I'm going to take my time. So from this point, I'm going to come down by one inch here. After marking that one inch, I'm going to just put that one inch into the neckline area like this. Okay, so the next thing we're going to mark here is half of our armhole. So my armhole is actually 15 inches. So when I divide it into two, I'm going to have 7.5. So I'll mark the 7.5 like this, and then I'll connect this with a ruler like this. And then I'm just going to give it a straight line like this. So the next thing now, I'm going to create my curve. So what I have here, I'm going to measure half of that part here. And I'm going to curve it out like this. So I'm just looking for the, okay. So I'm going to do this. So I already have my ample. So the next thing now, we're going to add our bust measurement. So the bust measurement that I'm making use of now for this. So the measurement, the bust measurement is 36. The under bust, that which is this point, the under bust measurement is 28. And then our waist measurement is our waist measurement is 30. And then the hip measurement that I'm going to be making use of, the hip measurement is 40. Let me divide into four, I'm going to have 10. So I have all of the measurements here, dividing everything into four, four. You divide the hip, the bust into four, 36 divided by four, you will have nine. On that bust, divide by four, 28 divided by four, we have seven. Waist 30 divided by four, we have 7.5. And hip 40 divided by four, we have 10 inches. So this is our hip line, okay. So the next thing I was, we start imputing all of these measurements Okay, so the first thing we're going to do now, after everything, the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to take out our dart. Okay, so the dart measurement I'm going to be making use of, I'll use my bust pan, half of my bust pan measurement. So my bust pan measurement is actually 8 inches. So I'm going to divide that 8 into 2. I'm going to mark 4 inches all across my pattern. So the next thing I'll connect this now with a straight ruler like this.
So the next thing I will take out our darts. So to take out our darts, I'm going to come to my under bust measurements. It's just a simple dart. So for the darts, I'm, I'll take all of my darts to one side. So my darts measurements for my under bust, I'm going to make use of two inches. So if I'm using one inch, I can divide these two inches. I can put one here, put one here, but I just want to put everything on one side. So I'll mark my two inches here. So that two inches from this under bust point, I'm going to connect. So I'll just use this like this to connect this. Okay. So the next thing now, on this two, my two inches point, I'm going to take it. I'll reduce it on this side. I'll reduce it by 1.5. Okay. So if you have been following me, this is just to give it more kind of defined shape. That's why I'm doing this. So I'll mark it here like this. So this 1.5 inches that I took, I'm just going to float it down to the down part of my... the down part of my gown that's the skirt part of my gown okay so just see so you can see what i have here so the next thing i'm going to do now on this part i'm going to take out just a couple of inch from this part just to tighten this shoulder part a little bit so i can decide to just leave it like this but i'm just going to take half of an inch so that half of an inch, I'm just going to float that into my pattern this way, just to give it like a, a little bit. If you notice, it is not really entirely straight, okay? So that's that for the that. So you can use any pattern of your choice, any bustier pattern of your choice. So the next thing now, we're going to start imputing all of our measurements. So this half inch that we took out from here, that allowance that we took out, that's the extra allowance that we added on the show that we take care of that, okay? So the next thing, we're going to take out our full body measurement. Our bust is 36, we divide into 4. We're going to have 9. So this is our 9 inches here. And then I'm going to add my stitching allowance. So for the stitching allowance, I'll add as much as 3 inches to this pattern. Okay? So I'm just trying to mark this point nicely. And then I'm going to read it like this. So the next thing now, our under bust is 28. When you divide 28 into 4, I'm going to have seven inches. So this is my seven inches here. I'll mark the seven inches here. Remember our two inches that we took out from our pattern. I'll bring that back into my measurement like this. And then after bringing it back into my measurement, I'm going to add my allowance. Of my two inches allowance i'll add it like that Sorry. so i'll mark that so the next thing now i'll come to my waist which is 30 which is 7.5 so i'll mark the 7.5 here and then you know on this part i reduced it by 1.5 so I'll bring back my 1.5 and then I'm going to add my allowance to it. So for this part, I'm going to use 2.5 inches on this side for the allowance. So the next thing, I'm going to add my hip measurement, which is 40 on this line. So 40, I'll add divide it into four, I have 10 inches. So I'll check what I have here, which is about one inch. I'll bring that one inch back into my pattern and then I'll add my, on the hip part, I'll add three inches. I'm not adding 2.5 or two inches, okay? So from this point, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make a curve like this. You can see it is a very simple process. The next thing, what I have here, I'm going to measure it. For the down part of my of my skirt okay so i'll reduce it by two inches on that part that's what i have here now i have about 14 so when i reduce it by two inches i'm going to have about 12 inches so from that 12 inches this is what i'm going to do 
Because it's a very simple process. I just want to double check. Okay. So I'm going to highlight my lines for my hip. I blend this part so it's not sharp. So at the end of the day, this is our. So I'm going to cut this out now. So I want you to note. I want to use this pattern for both the back and the front. So I want you to note what I'm going to do now. So I'll cut out the front pattern now. At the end of the day, this is what we have. Okay, so at the end of the day, this is how this is our front pieces. So for the back, so I had to open up the back why I did not capture that part on this video. So for the back pieces, I just cut it just the same way you know I separated it. So to, all you have to do is add the zip to the back pattern and then just create your your dart lines. So for the dart lines, you can decide to use waist dart or you can just decide to open it up using your four inches. For your center part, that's your boss that measurement. You just open it down. So thank you so much. At the end of the day, this is how you actually cut a simple pencil bustier gown. Th thank you so much. If you have any questions, just drop your questions and then I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.